Hi guys, I figured I'd just do a little quick update. So yes, I have done the decluttering, I just haven't filmed it, like I said before. I'm out having a little walk. I decided that I have to start walking again. Even though I don't have a dog right now, I need to get out, move around at least once a day. Because I tried to put my favorite jeans on on Friday and they were about 15 centimeters missing from me being able to close them and I was wearing them last summer before I lost my dog so it's just losing my dog uh, and not walking the way I used to I mean that's a big different walking <clears throat> taking a walk three times a day every day in every weather to just sitting in front of the computer doing stuff basically every day all day <sighs> and uh, I'm out of breath already so that's uh that's not healthy so I need to do something about that so I've set a few goals but uh I think that's important if you if you need to do something if you don't have any goals like I want to fit into these jeans or I'm going to lose this and that much weight or you know have some kind of goal something to strive for you're not gonna get there if i just say oh i want to lose some weight and just kind of yeah yeah okay i'm gonna lose some weight you know you don't work as hard on it but i really want to wear my jeans again i love them um so what are we looking at now we are looking at uh, where they are we're going to have our ice fishing competition. I think, however, that they are going a bit too far to that side over there. I think they're going to hit the shallows. They should probably go a bit more this way. And yeah, I have my cool gloves on. Um, oh my goodness, it's such a nice day today. I get a lot more energy when the sun is up. It's been cloudy and just a little bit of snow. You can see there's some fresh snow on the ground um this morning but now the what what time is it about 1 1 p.m maybe something like that um 1300 hours for those of us who use the 24 hour system instead of two times 12 ah, it's icy it's like really icy um because i'm wearing good shoes today so for those of you who don't know, I did a few streams on Twitch the other day, uh, Friday evening, I think. Uh, I was walking around in Kiruna. I was there to leave some stuff for my cousin and also bring some of her stuff back to the village so they didn't have so much luggage at once. Anyway, um, so... What was I going to say? Yeah, so I did some test streams on Twitch. And in Kiruna, it seemed to be working fine. Uh, I rewatched the streams afterwards to see. The, it was dark, so the phone didn't want to focus properly. But I think if I go there in daylight, I would be able to stream while I walk around in Kiruna. And also while I go from place to place and show you around a bit. Because they are moving. Every time I go to Kiruna, everything is different. I almost got lost because the road that I knew what you know that I've been driving pretty much all my life to and from Kirna uh, <laughs> wasn't there. It had completely moved and it was cut off and I was like, where the heck am I? <laughs> I got so confused. Oh the weather is so nice. Yeah. I should be walking, but it's so nice up here because I'm in the middle of the sun. Uh, so I did have a little peek at the snow sculptures, but they are melting a bit, so they weren't that pretty. And one had been demolished. I don't know why. It could have been, could have been that maybe a Russian made them. I don't know. I just feel it's kind of sad, everything that's going on, and it brings me such anxiety. But then again, there are some amazing people that are helping. That makes me feel so much better. Uh, and I've seen Russian soldiers that just 
go there and give up without a fight because they know what they you know they, they feel it's wrong so to just hate all Russians is wrong when it's one person leading it <sighs> well actually one group but you know can't judge everyone it's, it's like I say um, a friend of mine had her garage broken into by refugees, in, well, immigrants more. And she like, oh, the, she was hating on the immigrants. And I was like, you can't judge everyone by one person's decisions to break into your garage. You can't judge them all. I mean, there are good people in every color and, and state of life and age. And, and there are bad people in every color and age and everything. So age, color and gender doesn't matter at all. Nationality doesn't matter at all. There are good and bad people everywhere. Just have to see the person for who they are. If it's a good person, it's a good person. It doesn't matter gender, nationality or anything. So when there's like a lot of war and people doing horrible things it gives me such bad anxiety I can't handle it because I feel too much so a lot of times I had to leave streams lately because there was talk about the war and it becomes so vivid to me that it really triggers my anxiety so I have to leave I can't stay and watch I can't stay and talk because I get too triggered and I can't function and everything and it's not because I don't care about what happens I try to I have donated a little bit of money the little I, that I had and I you know I do care that's the problem I care too much um, so and it's it's an issue for me I get really super hyper triggered by stuff and uh, but then again, I see good people doing good things. And that makes me feel good and makes me calm down. So um, I've seen a lot of people that do charity streams for Ukraine. And that makes me feel so good that they're doing it. So I try to go in and, and support the streams. But every time there's too much talk about the war part of it, I get such bad anxiety. I can't breathe. I... You know, it, it, it's just too much, so I have to leave. Um, and it, it's not because I don't care or selfish that I've been told a few times I'm selfish because I'll leave in the stream. It's, I have to. I have to leave. Um, doesn't mean that I don't like what they do or that I want to stop you from talking about it I think it's good that you talk about it that it's discussed I just can't be there for that I do my best to support where where I can but I also have to function I have to be able to function and I can't do that and it's a bit extra now that I have a lot of personal stuff that's in the way and that's happening currently and just a lot of crap going on in my personal life so to add on to that it really triggers I can't sleep or, you know I, it just I can't function I need to function because if I can't function I can't help either so that's that but uh, I got really attacked lately when I said I hope you have a great stream I can't be here for that and I talked to the streamer so the streamer knows what's going on and I try to, every stream that's doing this, I try to let the streamer know what's going on and why I leave and how I feel and, and what's going on and how I appreciate what they do. Because I do, I do really appreciate when they do stuff for good reasons. And I mean, I try to support, I try to be there for them. I share, share out the stream the best I can and, uh, I, you know. And the streamers are okay with it. When I explain what's going on and everything, they just, yeah, I understand, fully understand. And if you, 
need to talk with her. And they're, they're amazing people. They're really amazing people. Um, but there's a lot of reason why people can't handle. Because I see, I see a lot of people get attacked when they say they can't talk about the war. They go to, I mean, a lot of times we go to the streams. We go to the, uh, we go watch Netflix or whatever it is to get away for a bit. Because we need that to recharge. And I'm not saying that other people care less. I'm just saying they might have different type of problems or different type of, you know, they, they might be normal, <laughs> not like me. Just I get hyper intense and, and uh, yeah, I have a few of those letter thingies going on in my life. So that's why I get really sensitive and really react hard to stuff that happens such a nice day it's so nice to just stand here in the sun yeah so anyway so that was just i just felt i need to get that off my chest i don't i don't talk about the war and all the horrible things that's going on because i don't care it's the opposite i care too much and i get too triggered and too much anxiety I try to focus on the on the helping part and see all the good people and the, all the good things that are happening because there are a lot of good things happening. One of the things is that I see a lot of people coming together. And um, but then again, there are a lot of bad stuff. There are the latest I saw now on um, on Twitter was a woman from Russia shared out that her she has friends in Ukraine that also sell on Etsy. She's a crafter and she's Russian and uh, uh, PayPal has stopped payments both to Ukraine and Russia, apparently. I don't know uh, more about that, but I just saw a quick tweet about it and I think that's horrible. <sighs> that... Uh, so there are both Russian and Ukrainian sellers on Etsy and they can't use their accounts because they can't get payment through. And uh, they're not the people causing it. And to stopping payments to Ukrainian and Russian crafters doesn't affect Putin the least. He does what he wants. He doesn't give a crap about a couple of crafters on Etsy. He doesn't care but to the to the crafter they are supporting their families they are supporting their friends they are you know and they can't receive payment that's awesome i feel like the wrong people are getting punished for stuff that's not something they can do something about because there are people both in russia and ukraine that are um demonstrating against the war and that are like really in a good way in a pacifist way they, they're they're not grabbing arms they are trying to use the mouth like any other adult and solving problems without violence but then there are the unfortunately the leaders of the country don't they're not adult enough that's the way i see it if you can't discuss and solve problems and find compromises like regular, ordinary adults, you sh you're not adult enough to lead a country. That's how I feel. And I think it's so sad and horrible that a couple of immature leaders can cause so much damage and death. And I feel my heart is racing right now and I'm about to start crying. So I'm going to... I'm going to stop this now and I'm going to go have a little walk, enjoy the sun and uh, that was a bit loud uh, and I'm going to, I hope you guys have a great day despite everything that's going on and I hope you're feeling good because um, we need that, especially in the hard times we need to find happiness and joy in wherever we can, uh, but also give when we can, help when we can. That's all I gotta say. And if you happen to be in the very northern parts of Sweden around Easter, come check this out because on Easter, uh, 
we have a big ice fishing competition right here. That's what I'm standing here looking at because that's why they have um, driven with the snowmobiles here to flatten the area to make it hard and sturdy for people to walk on. So yeah. I'm gonna head up. Oh, someone's skiing down there. So I'm gonna head off now. Hope you guys have an amazing day. Talk to you soon. Bye.